Hello and welcome to the Ministry of Miracles. I'm Arif Gilani, your host. And uh, the goal of the intention of this uh, channel is really to interview the top achievers from around the world. And uh, for the very first time, I have a special guest and uh, looking for success stories. I don't have to look too far in my own family. I have the pleasure of having Dr. Azad Gilani, who is my first cousin. My first memories of him are when I was uh, probably two or three years old and uh, this young looking man, everybody wants to be like him. That's the story of our childhood. So welcome, sir. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for having me. So I know you've done some interviews right now across uh, the uh, you know, channels in uh, Kurdish language, in Farsi, you have YouTube channel, a lot of activities happening on your end. You're not sitting down very calm and in control there, but uh, let me switch back my, oh, switch back my uh, co-host. Now the recording is happening. Okay. So, uh, yes, let's tell us this. Uh, you uh, been a part politician, you have designed the microchips for the Kurdish regional uh, government, as far as I am aware. You're the mastermind and the right-hand man to the former prime minister of Kurdish regional government. You also work with uh, various organizations across the world in the area of microchip design. Tell us what happened to that young, young man that I used to admire so much, the journey. Tell us a little bit about your journey, please. Oh yeah, <laughs> first of all, I just wanted to correct something here that I, I really don't have PhD. They are calling me doctor, it's just a ma matter of honors. They, they, they call me most of the time. Uh, however, I have the Master of Computer Science of Engineering from Lido University in Northern Sweden. So uh, I have been uh, actually working as a computer microchip designer uh, the past 20, 30 years. But uh, in total, uh, I have been employed uh, the first six years after my education. So after that, I have been independent consultant and I have been working in the all the continents uh, from Asia, Middle East, American, uh, Europe and everywhere. And I, I have had the, my consulting companies uh, since uh, 20 years back and um, Fortunately, until now, I have not been without any contract for one day. And uh, when, when <clears throat> I have been signing the contract, uh, normally it is start with three months, but it's ending six years or seven years like this. So uh, the, the, during the, this past, also I have been active in the financial uh, uh, sector because uh, I have been designing some uh, microchips in that uh, industry. And uh, also they've been uh, advisor for, for the, the Kurdish prime ministers uh, with regard to the uh, technology development, ICT and these, uh, these things, yes. Oh, that, that's, uh, that's quite an accomplishment. You put it all in one place, but I'm sure you didn't just get there by accident. I wanted to ask you, go back to really the human aspect of all your achievements. It must have been hard. So tell me what was the biggest challenges on getting where you have been? Just as an inspiration, as a learning experience for all of those who watch our programs, what was the challenges that you faced? Tell me, I remember this. Let me start you with a story. I remember coming to... Luleå, north of Sweden, back in 1990, and it was dark, and you had a little apartment, lots of books, and a very simple lifestyle. You made sacrifices to get here, am I right to say? Yeah, I think that that, that part, I have a very bitter, uh, bitter uh, challenges. Uh, if I tell you all the challenges that I had, that it probably make you cry. <laughs> uh, but I can I can say this that if just imagine you are sleeping and then next day when you are waking up, you are um, you are in a world that you have never seen a mobile phone, you have never seen a computer, you have a, you never you can't speak the languages, uh, and you 
you are not used at all with the whether the culture or the academic cultures or a, the social culture and then you enter to uh, you admit a university and sitting there and listening to the professor and like that is talking to you in chinese or something like that <laughs> you don't understand what that is going on uh, which basically make you that uh, because you you feel yourself so full, so stupid, and completely disconnected with the world that, that they are. That so all you do for something, you look at the as a human, look at as their behavior, what they are doing. Or are they other students are signing a paper? You go just sign it that without knowing exact what is in that. Are they feeling some form or they're taking something or they are standing, they are looking right, left, whatever. You are just trying to exactly to do the same because you believe that, okay, that is what is going on. So wow. honestly speaking, I, I started my education like that. Yeah, and I remember it was very difficult, very, very difficult, very hard. It, it was like, uh, like uh, walking with naked foot uh, on an iceberg. You know, <laughs> wow. it, yeah, it, it was impossible. Some uh, many times, uh, you know, you, you saw the city that it was, uh, it's kind of a six months uh, night and six months day. It, it means basically six months night. That means the, the nights are so, so long. So it's just two hours, three hours of the day is light, then it's night. And then it has very hot winters. So I, I remember you spend that some, yeah. You spend a lot of time in this loneliness, but in the meanwhile, you were learning. You didn't speak the language. You didn't know the system. You just came from Kurdistan or Iran, or you came, and then you were went to Sweden quickly. You upgraded your education, and then you applied for university. You were sent all the way to the north. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, the, the funny thing is that the first day when I was uh, admitting to the university, they, they give us a paper with a username and password on it. And then they send, send us to the lab. And then I was asking myself, what the hell is using it? What is the password? <laughs> and then, then when, when, we, we, when we entered the room, uh, I remember all other two, uh, students from Sweden. At that time, we didn't have uh, this WWW internet. It was some, uh, something called FTP. So they were immediately were logging into the computer and through the FTP, they were bringing the pictures of women's men. And then I was just wondering what the hell, how can I just write my name? Where, what is the keyboard? What is the username? What is the password? So for me, it was completely, completely new world. It's, it was first time I was interfacing a real computer to see a real computer while all other students they were um, they were having you know they were playing game while I was trying to find my name to, to be able to write my name on the keyboard and find out what is the username <laughs> and password and I have to go around out ask people you know it, it was horrible yeah but so never, I never give up I just wanted to tell everybody who's joining, welcome you all. I have the pleasure of interviewing Dr. Uh, our doctor is honorary doctor, but I know he's a professor and above. I don't even know what, the, but he's a very, very focused man in area of financial markets, world research markets. And uh, really, if you look behind his camera, you can see all of the and knowledge that he's putting to use. Today, we have the honor of interviewing him and I'm asking him about the challenges that he overcame. And some of them was dark, lonely nights and maybe eating chips. And now he's worked around the world. He has been a, a inspiration to myself personally. I've always looked up to Azad Gailani and he has a big following in, in Persian community and in Kurdish communities. And I wanted to bring your attention that today is the first time we're interviewing him in English. So uh, Azad John, let me ask you this. What do you think, right now you have your own children, young people, yeah, let's go to younger days. What do you think is holding most young people back from chasing or pursuing or having a plan to go and live their dreams? We are fortunate to come from a very um, you know, strong background. What do people do? when they have nobody in their life to look up to? Or who did you look up to? 
Yeah, you just... I think I think that is that is a big difference when we were grow up, growing up. No, no, a child when is born, you know, you see that he has he or she has a laptop in hand. It's just just facing the whole world of this information that is coming in, and and that is basically one of the. Uh, but it has the advantages, positive and negative part that uh, the, uh, for me, the, 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 the things that the facing the use right now is the fear, excuse and, and no planning. And uh, the, the other one that is very, very important is, fear, is, uh, is belief. You know, the, the, the fears, the, because of this amount of the information around them that they are seeing from the social media or whatever it is, it makes them okay, always the feeling okay, failing or uh, the feeling of the, the fear of the disappointment, the fear of the rejection, whatever it is. And the other things is that excuses, excuses like, you know, it's very simple for you to have something you, uh, you say, okay, somebody is very successful and then you suddenly say, oh, that is not my part, that is not, not me doing this or, or doesn't belong me or uh, this needs a special, you know, requirement, these things, that is, that is also, it's a, is that I think it's what's keeping the uh, the youth from from reaching their dream. So and the most important one is no plan. Just no imagine, plan. Yeah, that that just imagine you have so much information available. You know, you are sleeping. You are sleeping with your laptop, whatever social media in your hand. You are constantly updating yourself with the so huge amount of the information. The, the problem is that, is that because you don't have a plan, when you don't have a plan, you cannot structure this information in an in a efficient way that can help you. But if you have a plan, then you will look at that, okay, this information is needed for my plan. This is not needed for my plan. I don't need this and I need this. This way will help you somehow to filter the most crucial and important information for your, your plan. Plan is very, very important. But at the same time, what is, is, is I, I have seen is the problem is that it's very easy to set up today a plan, you know? It's very easy to set a plan, but the problem is that they don't understand that for you to one plan, you need a vision, okay? You, you, for each plan, you have a goal. In order to reach that goal, you need to have a vision. Okay, but the, 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 the main problem is that the, is, as I said, when, when you, you, you have a plan, the problem is that you need to be, cons you need to have disciplines for that plan and you need to be consistent with these disciplines and the, the things that you have it. I think that is one of the, 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 the most important uh, uh, things, uh, a factor that is keeping the, the, the youth to, to to use the opportunity today with the technology, information technology, and like this to reach their goals. Very well said, sir. Thank you very much. That wraps us probably up. No plan, and a plan and requires a vision, and vision really requires the discipline. This is amazing information. I wanted to bring our attention to finances, money. Let's talk about money because uh, this is really important. How important is financial literacy for? immigrant entrepreneurs you come from a country where you spend real or two man and then you go to a country where you're spending euro and then you go to a country you're spending pound how important is to learn about money you know in your in your uh, today's today's world because today everything is changing digital world is changing you can also tell us about the digital um, you know currencies but how important is financial literacy I think that I think whether you are a businessman, whether you are uh, investors, or whether you are or or uh, sorry, or you you are a, a trader, you need you need you need to to update yourself in the in this market because this is something that you needed. Even for example, if you have a restaurant or you have a business, that business you. For sure, you need the, some kind of finance from the banks or everywhere, and, and you see that when there is a, something on the market like about the interest rates or something else that like the the, the the money policy or a monetary policy for the, from the Federal Reserve, all this 
They are all affecting affecting your business, whether you uh, uh, normal business, even even when you are you're leaving, you know. So it's is extremely important for us today to 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 uh, for for whatever plan you have it, whatever uh, financial plan you have it or business you have it, you need to uh, to have a good knowledge about uh, uh, how the, the, the global economy, how the global economy well, uh, interconnected each, uh, each other and how they are affecting each other and how how that that information you can use it in order to as a, as a as a tool, so you know, as as a, a mean in your business to for 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 a, a successful business. Yeah. Wow, well, it's, 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 I appreciate. It's cool. Yeah. You can. Uh, you know. it's, it, it's like this. You know. You cannot say, for example, last Friday we have these uh, new uh, the uh, NFP uh, news. You can just not say, oh, that is that is okay. Something that has to do with the trading or investors or uh, those who. Trade the stocks and that, that actually not true. That is actually is affecting our 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 family uh, finance. You know that is affecting your budget. That is affecting everything. So it's it's very important. So whatever whatever profession you have, you need to really to to be in this sector because that is part of our life. It's like wow. uh, yeah. Part of our life, absolutely financial. You know, I was a financial advisor for seven years, sat down with Canadians from all backgrounds. And you wouldn't believe that the life that we live in, we're blessed in, but what we look at into the future, most people will be broke. They will just have month by month by month. The interest rates in Canada just went up 0.25%. People who are paying $3,000 mortgage now, all of a sudden have to pay 3,700. You know, it's very important to learn this, this financial education. I appreciate it. And your expertise goes beyond the day to day, but goes into Bitcoin. It goes into, you know, uh, all of the cryptocurrency. I get so many messages. Can you tell us what is cryptocurrency? <laughs> I think uh, cryptocurrency is a digital currency that is supposed to be the, to, to replace the current, uh, the current currency like dollars and euro and all these. That is the intention, but it has become a little uh, too complicated and too too much. Uh, what is called? Uh, it, it it becomes uh, kind of um, a, a, a use matter more than than uh, investors. So so th these are these are uh, things uh, that the, these are assets that is is the their price is mainly is being driven by speculation. So the, you just speculate, okay, the price will go up, this will happen and that, and this, uh, this has no in strict value, you know, that, that, that you can say, okay, this is whether it is, is undervalued or overvalued or whatever. If they don't have it, it is because that is speculative. And then what happened when they, they started being recognized in the, in this, on the social media and in this, then they, they came in a, a cycle of economy a cycle of economy where the, the, there was a boom cycles when when the where where the Federal Reserve all the central banks in the world they were pumping the whole market with money, and they were every for example Federal Reserve was pumping more than 150 uh, 25 billion a month to the market, and all this money cheap money on the market make it that all the stock market at a, all all uh, financial you know market to, to, to rise a lot, uh, including, uh, including crypt, crypto. But uh, I myself, I am not just investing in the crypto. I think I'm just uh, a speculator, just using a trading. And, uh, um, yes. So 2023 is here right now. You're, uh, I know you are very active in following the markets. And maybe some people say there's even going to be a recession in North America. What's your thoughts on that? The, 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 the recession uh, is very, if you look at the macro data that is coming like a Friday you know, NFP, it's very hard uh, to, to say at the moment what actually will happen with the, with, with the whether we will have a, a hard recession or a soft recession. It all back, goes back to the, 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 the Fed policy for uh, 
uh, if they if they go too aggressive, it probably will, will have that. But I think at the end of the day, we uh, the, the inflation will be controlled probably during the year two thousand three, and I think after that, uh, probably uh, we will start a new economic cycle, a, a new a new boom cycles where which were probably it will take 10, 11 years uh, again with the market to go up to again to, to reach a stage that, that they need to, to cool down. So, uh, but within the, the first five, six months of this year, we will see a lot of volatility in the market. Okay, we have seen the market to go up, uh, to have a sent positive sentiment the first months of the year. But I think there are uh, the, these. This has happened happened because of the fund, the hedge funds positioning, short covering, and some other technical part of, of, of the business. There has been no fundamental behind these these uh, positive uh, positive uh, sentiment on the market. Uh, but at, at this at this very stage, we we need these fundamentals to to push the market up. Otherwise, it will not go up. So the thing is that for those that hope invest in the crypto, they should know that this crypto now for a while they have rise a lot. They have gone up a lot, and they they are more sensitive to the general market. So so you need to look at that general market. If there is fear, if if Fear comes to the market that conquer the market. Definitely, that will that will have very very uh, negative impact on, on on the crypto for 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 at least a short term. So, but in general, I think 2023, uh, the, the 2000 uh, this year, okay, this year you will be will be at the end of the year. I think the the uh, we will slowly slowly start a new cycle of the economy that will be very good. Thank you very much sir, for this wonderful advice. I wanted to, we're reaching the uh, uh, end of our interview, but I wanted to ask you this, uh, just on a personal note. If you were right now, you're looking at yourself and you saw 20 year old Azad Gailani, what would you tell yourself to do? What's the most important advice you would give a 20 year old right now? Oh, <clears throat> that, that, is, that is a very interesting question. Uh, I think believe in yourself. The first thing. I think believing in yourself is uh, is 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 extremely important because you you need to. If you look at my background that I, I explained in the uh, in the in the beginning of this interview, uh, it's uh, you you as a human, your brain as a human, it's much 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 smarter than you you believe. So that is very important to, to believe what you are doing. That that the first thing. The other one is that, well, you know, th this life is full of ups and downs. There is no, if you don't have, actually, if you don't have ups and downs in the life, you, you will not enjoy life at all because you will not make any differences, you know, between good and bad or uh, fun or uh, whatever. It, it's, it's very, very hard. But the thing is that these, you should not, be smart that use this, uh, that not give up with these uh, ups and downs. And the, the other very important thing I think is, is this, that if you look at the most success, successful people has been those people that has a lot of failures. So what I am saying here is that you, as long you use the failures as real information, you know, your failures as a real information and the feedback for your, your personal development and your plan, you will be so that those feed those failures, you will you will be thankful that you have you have these these failures because those failures is gonna to make you successful if you use that as a real information to know okay, what is that cause this failure and how can I improve my process, whatever process is that I don't have these um, what is called uh, failures. And of course, we know that the life is, nothing in this life is cheap, uh, free, and nothing is easy. That means basically everything in this life has a price, whether you waste time, whether you work hard, you do whatever. As I told you, my education was that, you know, walking, walking with the naked foot up to the iceberg, 
And I, I was crying every night that it's Im impossible for me to, to make it, to be able to have, to have that education. And now, uh, now I, I, am very, I have been very, very successful. And uh, as I said, the first six years in my life, I have been employed. The rest, I have been an independent consultant and I had not been without any job one day. But imagine, imagine the day that I started how it was, how hard it was. But the only thing was that, okay, I was telling myself, no, you will do it. You can do it and you never give up. And exactly I did that one. And uh, that's one thing out of here. Uh, I, I told you when I started the university, I could not even know what is the username and password and the students that were that were doing this. You know, the, 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 the last year in university, the year five, some of these students in that university become my student. Nice. So exactly those people, those people, you know, some of them become become my student. They were uh, they were taking off, I think, one year, two year for the military and for uh, for for work or some other things, and then they were coming back, and then all of a sudden they were seeing me as their lecturer in the university. You know, who who could believe that? Nobody could believe that. But I was believing that I was I, I believed in that I will do it. The most important person then uh, you say is to believe in yourself is the most important thing really that uh, that gets you on a path that no matter what happens to you, you make a promise to yourself to say I'm not giving up. Is that right? Yeah, never give up, never. Never give up and always use your failure as the real information to develop so, yourself. Uh, at because, this point, because, uh, you know, you should not let you should not let your failure to make you disappointed. You should not make your failure to bring you fear. You should not make your failure to bring you to make you excuses. You should not bring your fail uh, failure uh, to let your failures to 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 make give, give you the hopeless feelings. Instead, use that failure as a real information and work on that information because that is a golden information. That is where is your weaknesses. You have with that failure, you find your weaknesses and work on your weakness. Wow, that was just incredible. More and more friends are joining us for the first time. I'm interviewing, I have the honor, the pleasure of interviewing Azad Gilani, my first cousin, we had a lot of great uh, um, memories. We even did illegal smuggling of sugar against uh, across the mountains <laughs> of Kurdistan. <laughs> we have uh, we have a long history, but I've been looking forward to this meeting so much. It's like if, if, you, if you have time, you mentioned that one. I can also wonder how very good. Uh, History. <laughs> yes, the floor is yours. Let's uh, finish up with a fun yeah. memory of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, actually, when we were doing that, I, 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 I have just graduated from the secondary school and I asked my father to give me 5,000 to man. At that time, to man, it was a very, very small amount of money because I wanted to go on the, on the border to Turkey, bring some sugar back to Iran and sell it. And then he looked at me, he said, oh, you are not for this guy that work. Yeah, leave it, just leave it. He didn't give me, I was very, very disappointed. And I was so disappointed, suddenly my mom saw me and she asked me, what is wrong with you? I said, I am asking my father, give me some money and I can do this business. But he doesn't believe in me. And then she gave me some money and you remember what become. on. <laughs> Back to Istanbul, all the smugglers were under my control because they all they were was it was like a mafia. They were all under my control. By by a, by a phone call, I could I could take the sugar from Istanbul back to Tehran. You know, so this that, was and that that venture has also funded my venture. I worked with you, and then I went to make some money, fifty thousand to man, and that's what I left Iran with. And these stories are making impact. If you are on I think this, camera, this is, really, this is really I like really everybody. You know where where you were, what you were doing. As I said, you come to a world that okay, you never seen computer, and then you. What I am now, uh, it's just unbelievable. You know, it's a very long past, but very successful. I think 
this is how it's like. Just one thing out of here. Uh, my uh, uh, anybody that want to search my name on the internet, uh, I think the, you will not find too much information uh, in English with the Gailoni because Gailoni is just a, a title for my family. But my surname is Muslazada. So if you search Ozan Muslazada, you will get all information about me. So if if anybody interested to to search and say, okay, who is this guy? So I think you, you should go that way, things. But the things is here, the, I think the things is that uh, is, is it, to share to share our, our uh, history, successful history is, is, is very, very important. Especially when, when, you, uh, when you are coming from, from a different, completely different world, coming to a very, very developed world. You know, we were in a village. I remember in that village, we were, only one that had a TV, you know, and that TV, we didn't have the electricity. We were using a tractor battery for, for that TV, you know, and imagine with that one, with that kind of education, with that lack of, of the, uh, the uh, information, you know, about the whole things in the world. And then you come and, and admit to you one of the uh, Europe university, and you can imagine how hard it is how hard it is, but if you have a strong will, you will do it. You know, having, having a strong will, having a strong will is like having a nuclear weapon in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. It, it, Good it one. is like that, you know, just just never give up, never let let, let fear to take you, uh, take over, uh, conquer you. Yes. Thank you very much. This has been such a pleasure. If you guys have your camera, please put it on. And I want to see everybody saying hello to my guest. And uh, we're going to introduce few people here and they got a chance to introduce themselves and tell us about their friendship. And I wanted to start out with something. What uh, Azad was uh, sharing with you is all true stories. We're working on a docudrama. I'm actually making a, a documentary movie to have all of these recorded because they're all facilities are available right now we're trying to build up a community of inspiring people like Azad for you here and one more person who's really inspiring is Gary Gary is a co-Canadian uh, Azad uh, if may I have uh, permission to introduce some of our guests sir yeah sure sure sure, sure. Gary is, uh, you know, in our family, he knows age goes first and wisdom usually follows the age. Sometimes it skips a generation, <laughs> but in this case, not on. <laughs> I appreciate that. Gary, um, you've been a pleasure to work with, to get to know. Please tell us a little bit about yourself at two minute uh, elevator spiel. Who is Gary? What's purpose? Most people are lost. What's happening here? The shepherd is here. And, and th thank you, Azad. Uh, this is fantastic. And what Rick is doing is like, it's incredible. He, he has a heart to serve. And, and as I do as well, and I, I specialize, and I'll put later in my chat, in chat, my, my information, but uh, I, I'm called to help people discover their God. I think. Purpose. But really, the, the, even our certainty in the most uncertain times in our life, probably. And, and what I discovered, yes. Uh, you're yeah, speaking you. too fast, yeah. and your mic is not good. So the mic, and then slow okay. down. We have time. Right now, we're just getting heated up in London time. It's right now 9 p.m. My doctor is right now here, and we're going to bring in some other uh, guests. But uh, um, if your mic is fixed, we can talk again. Uh, let's see. If not, are you okay, Gary? Is this? Yeah, how about yeah, better. Is this better? Yes. Okay, good. Sorry, guys. Let me uh, let me start Reboot again. I will slow down. I just did a Gary bit. talk. Welcome, everybody. I encourage you to put your camera on so we can have a group picture with Dr. Azad Gilani. Here. And uh, go ahead, Gary. Yes, thank you. I just get a bit excited uh, because uh, I'm passionate about this topic of helping people discover their God-given purpose to have an impact in this world. But even before that, I mean, we all want to feel more certain about what's happening in our future have more clarity and have more confidence i think i think i can probably see a high five for for that uh, and and so what i've discovered recently is that the 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 most powerful way to have certainty and clarity in our life 
is to have clarity on our purpose, on our calling, you know, what we are designed to do here in this world and bring our gifts and our talents to this hurting world to make a positive difference. So, so that's what we're doing, helping people. And, and just so you know that when we're on purpose, the research shows that we are five times more productive. It's all research-based. We are 42% more content and at peace. And we have like 530, 539%, 500 plus percent higher resiliency and persistence because we have the powerful reason why we're doing it. We're on purpose. So, so that's what my goal is. And we're conducting a Power of Purpose Masterclass coming up in a few weeks. Happy to share more with you, but uh, would love to offer it to you to have a, a complimentary 20 or 30 minutes, you know, Q&A discovery call. Uh, with me over the next few weeks, uh, I'll put in in chat uh, that information. And so we, I too, like a reef, want to be of service to you, so you can be the, your most powerful on purpose self to make the biggest difference in the world, like now. So, a reef, thank you, thank you for uh, all that you're doing. I appreciate it. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Gary. Gary goes beyond money. Alzad is the money expert. He's the market expert. He brings us to reality. Gary goes a little bit into spirituality. The next guest that I have will make you think every time you pick up a glass of water to drink. And that's my promise to you. Oven Hermina has been a friend for the last uh, 15 years, and I'd like to invite Oven to the stage. He's my co-host right here. Oven, Thank take you over. Very much. Thank you very much, Sharif. Thank you, Gary, for what you just said there. And Mr. Azad, thank you so much for sharing your wisdom and your encouragement you. how to become successful and how to be a winner. Thank yeah, you. So my name is Owen Hermina, and I am a unique child of God with deep passion for people who want to see you happy and very healthy. How do I do that? through a unique opportunity that will make you think twice about your health the next time you get a glass of water to drink. So if you want to know more about health and the best water, come back later on 2.30 p.m., exactly 2.30. I'll be doing a presentation about your health and your water. Wonderful. Thank you, Gary. Thank you, Owen. Owen is so, you know what? He did a presentation, a private presentation for me. And believe me, after that, every glass of water that I drink, I think, because, you know, we know I'm a health uh, practitioner myself. 75% uh, of your body is water and 75% of the world water is contaminated. The cycle goes on and on and he's got a business opportunity and also a device that can be installed right on your faucet so you can have a clear health water that you can even apply to your face. Look at his shiny head. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm uh, really... Um, I'm welcoming all of our guests. We have this weekly Zoom call, same time next week. I really look forward to helping those of you who have a voice to be heard, like uh, uh, Oven, as again, Azad was my special guest, but like Oven, like Gary, to build a community of all service-based people here. And our YouTube channels are available. Uh, Azad Gelani has also a YouTube channel. Those of you who speak Farsi, Kurdish, tell me how many languages, sir, uh, do you uh, put online in, in your YouTube channels? On uh, we, we have a Persian and Kurdish, uh, mainly Persian. Some, so some friends, yeah. friends in Iran, in Kurdistan, who want to know a little bit about the culture of uh, Europe. Here's Dr. Azza telling you how to make money, world-class uh, practitioner. Jasmine, you joined us, and I'm not sure from where, and please tell us uh, where you are joining in that red, beautiful shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Jasmine Arvina. Uh, I'm Owen's sister. He invited me to this meeting. I, I live in the um, beautiful island of Curacao, small island in the Caribbean. We speak Dutch here, Papiamento, Spanish and English. And... Um, yeah, I, 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 I share what Owen shares also. Wonderful. So the, this is a family business. The so water. That is the a family. family. <laughs> yeah, genius. 
Well, healthy, you know what? They, life. they say when we find something really valuable, we want to share. The first person that we share is our family. And I wouldn't sell anything that I could not sell it to my mother and to my cousin right here. Two months ago, I had a chance to go visit Azad in London. And guess what I took? I took some camel product, some socks for him. I hope he's wearing. More importantly, he purchased my book online. Well, I'm always welcome with those. <laughs> yes, sir. And did you read the book or Adam stole it from you? <laughs> Adam is uh, his 21-year-old son. I'm also working with a lot of young people. Again, if you need to clarify your purpose, really, I recommend Gary and uh, basically sitting down with Gary. I also have Ehab here. Ehab Hanati is our uh, immigration expert. I wanted to bring him up because so many questions are coming to us about immigration some of you want to study on you know in the west or in scandinavia just like Azad did some of you want to migrate to canada to work here so we have breakout sessions after the session and you can join gary you know gary's purpose coach if you're feeling let me tell you the symptoms if you're feeling am i may i give the symptoms of each person and the expertise if you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling lost, if you're feeling you don't really know why you're born here into this life, I think Gary's session is smack on. <laughs> you know, in uh, sit down for 20 minutes, listen to what it has to say. If you're um, if you are suffering or have anybody in your life that is not well health wise, really really important. And ladies and gentlemen, my dear friends and family, I teach how health. Number one, health is important. Oh, organizing relationships. I'm blessed to have this meeting with all of you, my favorite family and friends. Organizing meetings and relationships is really important. And the third one is right here, our, our special guest, wealth building, financial markets. You want to know. You want to know. Ignorance is not a blessing. Amen? Do I have an amen on ignorance yeah. is not a blessing? And look forward to having some uh, some talks about sales also, online sales. You know, COVID-19 changed the uh, business for Owen, as far as I'm confirmed, for Gary. We all toppled down. I had a two-year dive going into um, my ancestry to finding out, to write my book, to make this philosophy available. But I wanted to close this session with the philosophy of my ancestor, of Azad's ancestor, who's been taught for hundreds of years and num the first thing is just summarizes in the really in the last name starts with g gratitude every day we wake up i am thankful i'm thankful for you being here ladies and gentlemen this is a miracle to have all of these beautiful friends and family in one place i'm so grateful the other one is i intentions what is our intention our intention is really to serve people azad is putting a lot of hours into educating a whole generation of young upcoming iranians and kurds to learn about financial markets to be available to them 24 7 sometimes i saw his office it's it's crazy it's like einstein's office you know all of these people again he loves it this is a love inspired project and ladies and gentlemen, uh, taking action right now, today, you should go either to join Gary, to join Owen, to join, to have a question for Azad B, a little bit proactive and network with great people. I have some of the wonderful people in my life on this call, and I'm really um, grateful for you and grateful to you. And I wanted to tell you, every single one of you has the capacity to create miracles. And if you want to know how, ask Gary. <laughs> Thank you very well, much. I think you should ask a riff as well. Riff, don't downplay yourself, brother. You you are an expert with a heart to serve and your coaching and your services. So thank you for all your amazing support to us. But that's just who you are. You, you just want to bless and serve others. And you do definitely do that for your own clients, like 150%. So uh, talk to I, a riff uh... this week as well. I appreciate it. Well, I'm committed to this program. A lot of young people need to hear a lot of entrepreneurs. Again, Azad was uh, uh, lucky to have some guidance besides walking on icebergs to go to accomplish to what he's accomplished. But his older brother was there. My older brother was there. He still had some support of some sort just to breathe. But when I came I to that, Canada... That, I think that part, that part is very, very important for... for uh, 
it's for the consulting with other people, whatever whatever your goal uh, is. That is very important to to learn from other people's experience and to learn from other people's uh, you know uh, sh 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 the, the, the things that that can help them. I remember when 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 I was in the university, the, the, it was the fifth year. So they, they you need to to specialize in in one of the field. Uh, it was five fields that I have to choose one of them. And then we had a cousin that is professor in, in United States, Dr. Arjuman. And then I sent that to him and I told him, I need your advices. I just wanted to consult with you which one of these, these part of the industry is very, very is important for, for me in the future. And then he, he returned back to me and he told me one that I was very, very scared of that. I, 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 it was absolutely out of my, it was out of question to choose that one. <clears throat> then I called him back and I said, listen, this is very, very hard. I, I cannot do it. He, he told me, listen, if you wanted to do something that, that really change your life in the future, you need to do this. If you don't want to go for this one, then don't go for the other four, go home and sit, do nothing. And then, I accepted and I applied for that one. You know, we were two students. <laughs> All other fields in that university was more than 40 students in each of the specialist uh, field. We were two people, so two students and the other student committed suicide. It was only me. So I, I had only the, the, the lecturer or the professor was coming to the room, to the classroom. It was only me to teach it. But now I understand what he was telling me at that time. Now I understand how I did it. It is, you know, it is so important that you 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 learn from other people's experience and learn from other other how other people been successful. For it, it's it's such each time, for example, if I if I know I, I have my consultant uh, company, so I'm working as a consultant. So if I tomorrow, for example, just make a simple update to my CV on internet, like changing my phone number or whatever I changing, believe me, it will take less than ten minutes. I get over hundred calls from 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 agents around the world. You know, because there is so much demand for that. There is so much, you know, today you, you see that today everything is digital, digital, um, uh, the digital technique. So, so you use the car is digital, you use remote control is digital. You, we are talking now is digital. Everything on this is based on something called digital processors. And that is where I am building that. But when that guy told me to do it, I was so scared that it's impossible for me to make it. But again, I did it. Wow. Again, I did wow. it. Why? Um, because I did not give up. I believe in myself. And I didn't have fear to, to face challenges. I think it's very, very important. Once you set your goal, you should not let any fear the challenge you any field that that can carry you to to distract you from from the past or from that goal and that it requires you have a will as i said if you have a strong will you have a new personal new clear weapon in your hand and you can use it whenever something is challenging you <laughs> okay wonderful thank you so much sir this is listen this, I have summarized all of this knowledge really in this book, Ministry of Miracles. I know Azad has a copy of the book. He ordered online. And if you like to uh, basically get a copy of it, I know some of my friends who are here have bought 10 because they wanted to give friends and family. This is also a business of sales. Everything is sales. I'm trying to sell me, sell you on an opportunity that you can do more be more and there's opportunities for you whether it's in immigration whether it's finding out health wealth or whatever you might be so that will is right here it's described it's all scientified you know Azad loves formulas this is formalized everything we have turned into formula that i'm teaching in my private coaching classes 
uh, you know, same thing with Gary, really finding your spiritual being is simple. You just need to uh, have a coach or mentor, health as well, and financial expert. Azad, I just really wanted to thank you. That's it. I'm going to come to you again. And uh, Zor uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to, to, to see you all guys here. I hope to see you more. I hope so. I wanted to have a special Kurdish session or Farsi session actually done for um, for uh, happy for New Year, March 22nd. I also wanted to make some announcements for Toronto. March uh, for 21st is New Year. New Year now rose means new day in Kurdish. So I'm inviting all of you to a live session on March in here, North York. And also, I wanted to have a session about achievement with Azad in Farsi, so we can really understand the communication that he's most fluent and has a lot of following because they need to hear this message. It's time to set new year resolutions and our new year starts every three months. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if you need to send me a message, Rita, go ahead, please. Rita's joining us all the way from Nigeria. I was telling Azad when I was in Iran, there's a big audience for your services if you turn the channel to English. And finally, after I go to England, I convince him to turn it to English. <laughs> so I'm glad he did. Yeah. Rita, what are you saying, my friend? Tell us about Nigeria. Um, I don't have much to say now, but I have someone on the Zoom that want to migrate to Canada. So I thought this Zoom is for uh, people that want to migrate. I don't know if you have anything to say on that. Yes, we have. We will have, Rita, we will have separate Zoom calls right after this one. Right now, Gary, Owen, everybody, also, they all have their own meetings going on and their activities. I know it's even getting late in, um, you know, in the Middle East and in uh, Europe, but I appreciate all of your time. I wanted to appreciate Masuma, who's uh, studying uh, the doctorate of health also in uh, Germany. She coordinated all of this with uh, Azad and made this possible. I wanted to appreciate everybody's time. And we're going to record, put this recording on YouTube channel. Make sure you follow, review. And this advice that Azad just gave you, I have taken five pages of notes, and I hope you have too. Okay. Success is simple. You just got to follow the successful people right here. My cousin, Azad Gelani. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a great day, everybody. You too. Have a great day. Good Talk time. to you yeah. soon. See you next week. Same time, Bye. same place. Take care. Thank you. I'm available, Rita, or everybody just send me a message on anywhere and I'll be available to talk to you right after. Thank you very much, everybody. Have okay, a great guys, day. Be sure Thank luck. you. Take Bye. care. Thank you. Bye. 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 Some music. If you're just logging off, you might fall short. So why not some music for you in the last hour? <laughs> okay. I really love this one. I run with this again. I wanted to encourage you some uplifting music is really good for your spirit. I run with this. It's called Go for Gold at Any Age. So if you have nothing else, go for gold.